This is Beale's quick review of the humerus. This is a left humerus, the arm bone. And if I pick this up, you can see the humeral head right here. Looking at it this way, the smaller process up here is the lesser tubercle, and the larger one here would be the greater tubercle here. Running between the two, right there, the notch, would be the intertubercular groove or sulcus. The bicep tendon runs through there. Obviously, you can see the shaft here. Following this roughness down, right about here, you can see it's really rough. You have to kind of hallucinate the deltoid tuberosity right here for the insertion of the deltoid muscle. And then the distal epiphysis has some nice features, quite outstanding. Right here, medial epicondyle, epi on top of, condyle joint surface. On the bones, these are on the sides. Over here, this is the lateral epicondyle on the side. The two condyles, the round one right here, is the capitulum. The cap capitulum articulates with the radial head. It is kind of nice and round if you look at it. The other condyle here, side to side, the whole thing is the trochlea. It's kind of indented in the middle. The trochlea articulates with the trochlear notch of the ulna. Also on the anterior side, you can see the smaller of the two fossas on this bone. This is the coronoid fossa. If I flip this over to the posterior side, there is a larger fossa on the back. It's deeper and larger. This is the olecranon fossa on the back. So, tour of the humerus.